Austria from Vienna, one of the best cities in the world. Oh, it's got the panda guy. Um, hmm. Obama's gonna do good here. I need Heatran for sure. I think I'm gonna have to lead Heatran here. And bring Lucario to protect it from the Greninja. Greninja is actually fairly hard to play against just because he can do so many things. Actually, I'm gonna go Heatran Landorus. Bring Lucario in the back. Landorus does okay against most of these things. Salamence is out for sure. Sylveon is out, so I think Obama Snow will have to be the last one. He's definitely gonna bring in his his um, Venusaur. So I could Psy Shock it with Sylveon, but his Sludge Bomb would just knock me out anyways. Bombasnoble would deal with some of the stuff, but it's not really that handy. Salamence will let me knock out the Venusaur really easily, though. You know, I'm gonna bring Salamence in. A couple of the bigger threats get to deal with with Salamence. So as long as we preserve Salamence to deal with certain Pokemon, we should be okay. If he leads Greninja, we can U-turn and get out of there. And he does lead that. So I can U-turn protect, bring in Lucario that way. And then he'll probably Ice Beam and... I mean, he has to Ice Beam, right? I kind of actually have to make a pretty big play here, because I might lose Lucario on the following turn. Um, alternatively, I can also substitute here. Let's see, who do I have on back? Yeah, I have to bring Lucario in, which means if I take the Hyper Voice, it's going to hurt a lot. Um, but if Lucario goes down, then Salamence can probably one-shot the Sylveon. Um, gonna protect. U turn, Greninja. Hopefully, I did it in time. <laughs> oh my god, I almost ran out of time. Yay, I did it! Boink! Okay. Even better. I don't even. Uh, as long as Lucario survives. As long as Lucario survives, uh, I can faint the Greninja and knock it out. Oh, he map blocks! That's even better, I think? Oh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if Lucario can survive this. Oh, he wished? I don't understand. Um, I don't understand. So Wish is going to come true this turn, so there's no point hitting him there. I'm going to sub, and I'm going to faint into the Greninja to knock it out. Nobody's... No, Scarf Greninja, no. No. Just no. No. <laughs> Scarf Greninja does not make sense to me. Sorry. Focus Sash, Life Orb makes a little sense. Extra Belt makes a little sense. He's really afraid of the Flash Cannon, for some reason. Or maybe the Bullet Punch or Iron Head from, uh... So that gets rid of that one threat. What's up, Monkey Bomb? Six. The six of his kind. Comes in a six-pack. So what type is, um... Flygon? Is it... F Rock Dragon? Flying... It's Rock Dragon, right? Pretty sure it's Rock Dragon. Um, it's either Rock Dragon or Flying Dragon, or Rock Flying. So I'm going to Heat Wave here. I'm not afraid of the Venusaur. Well, either way, if he's Rock something, I'm not going to do that much damage with this. 
And I need to, I need to preserve the Heatran. It's Dragon Ground with Levitate. Oh, okay. So either way, I'm not going to do that much damage with my Heat Wave. Um, but I might as well spam it out until my thing runs out. And I'm going to close combat into the Flygon. I'm going to spam it out until my Substitute disappears. And when my Substitute goes, I'll switch out to something else. Oh my god, Fire Punch. What is this world we live in? Om nom 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 nom. So it's funny because Lucario protects everybody on my team um, with Follow Me except for Heatran. <laughs> Let's see how much damage this does. Yeah, baby! That's what I'm talking about. I think uh, the crit probably definitely mattered. I don't have that much attack EVs on my guy. I think the crit mattered. You know, I've been thinking about um, removing close combat from Lucario, like in favor of Bullet Punch, but it's been doing really well for me in, in these matches, so that's kind of cool. I like that. All right, so that little bugger comes back. Um... Could heat wave, but I'm just gonna earth power try to get rid of it as soon as possible. And I'm just gonna protect for now. Still can't do anything with me behind the sub here. So far we saw a synthesis from Venusaur. Jellison for Abomasa. I've used Jellison as well. I've used Jellison. It's okay. it's okay. Um Yeah. Pedal dance, huh? And he hurts his own person. Pedal Dance makes you confused afterwards, does it not? Hyper Voice comes out. I think at this point, so Lucario outspeeds... Oh, actually, no, I protect this, so I wouldn't know. But I'm pretty sure Lucario outspeeds both of them. Um, he's going to Pedal Dance again. And Hyper Voice again. I'm going to go for the Heat Wave here. No. I'm just going to Earth Power. Yeah, Earth Power will put it within Pedal Dance range. And I'm just going to let Lucario go down here and just, uh, I don't know, Close Combat. Close Combat is not going to do any damage, but it'll do more damage than not do damage. So I'll also chip at the, um, the Sylveon here. Um, yeah, I've used Jellison before. Jellison's okay. It's pretty fun. It's like, yeah, I do it for Ships and Gills. So that puts it down actually really close. I could just rock slide it now without worry. Or he could just knock himself out. That's also good. And Lucario's still alive. <laughs> That's the worst part. Oh my god, my substitute is still alive too. That's amazing. Alright. Heat wave time. And we pretty much have this in lockdown. Um, but I don't want to. I don't want to switch out. I just gonna I want him to just take care of my Lucario. Wow, that's a lot of damage. And at this point he can't really synthesis either because it's 4v1. And he's just wasting his time that way. Um, but I think Blizzard Pedal or yeah, <laughs> Pedal Blizzard is a mandatory three turn move. Will my substitute go down finally? My substitute is still alive. It's amazing. It's the best. But yeah, if you have questions about what you should put on a Jellison, I can let you know. Um, I've agonized on such things for a while. That's game! Woo! I was scared at the beginning because of that Greninja. Greninja is so unpredictable and you really don't have time to see what it is, but he mat blocked, and um, I don't think Greninjas can actually afford to mat block, even though it is one of their signature moves. In triples, I think mat block is definitely way better, but in uh, doubles, even like mat block is is only okay, unfortunately.